And we're back to learning JavaScript on Exorcism. The next exercise that I'm going to talk about is Custom Science. Find it right here. I think it's a good exercise for beginners. Just read through the instructions yourself. I'm just going to go over the tasks and refer to the introduction as we go through it. So we are going to use a different way of writing these variables or of returning them. We haven't used that way up until now in Exorcism. Let us just dive right in here with the first function, build sign. We've got two parameters, occasion and name. And we want our function to return the text happy birthday Rob for this example. So happy occasion name. So in pseudocode, we could write it like this. And now we want to write it in a way that the function actually does that. And let me go back right here to the introduction. We can use this format. So we'll use these back ticks right here. And inside we're going to place what we want. In this case, the string happy. Then our first variable occasion, so we need the dollar sign and afterwards the curly brackets and inside the variable name or the parameter in this case occasion. Be careful with the spaces so they do play a role. Right here after birthday in the example we need one, so after the occasion parameter we need one as well and afterwards we need the name and there's also an exclamation mark don't forget it but now we should be fine with task one so if we for example look here we've got anniversary and jill as the parameters we will get happy anniversary jill let's head to task two we're going to build a birthday sign and again let me first write it down in pseudocode, so the way we would just explain it in plain, simple words. So we need the text and afterwards we need a way to determine if the age is bigger than 50 or not. The text is happy birthday, what a young fella or mature fella you are. So the if has to determine if the age fits for young or mature, and 50 will be our limit. So let me just comment this out. We'll use the back ticks again. Then happy birthday, we can just write that with an exclamation mark. Then what a and then dot 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 fellow you are. So dot 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 is just a placeholder here. We want to have young or mature depending on the age. So how can we write that? At first we need our variable age. So dollar sign could brackets, put it inside like here in the introduction. Afterwards we need to compare it. In this case, if it's 50, let me just write older or bigger than 50. If so, we want to use the word mature. So question mark and then mature. And if not, we want to use young. So it's the same format as in the introduction, but be careful, these are strings. So we need these quotation marks. And we should be fine here. And 
No, we're not fine. So in test 5, age is 50. So let me check this. When it's 50, it should also it should also be mature. So I need to have it bigger or equal to 50. Let me check the instructions right here. It says so if the age is 50 or older. So we need bigger equal to 50 and then it should work. And it does. Just for practicing purposes, let us rewrite it for young in the if and mature in the else statement. So we would have to write age smaller than 50. We wanted to have young and else we wanted to have mature. So this would also be a way to pass this in the given format. And we're good to proceed. Let's go to task three, build a graduation sign. Once again, we've got two parameters, name and year. And we want to return a simple sentence, but it should have a new line, so line break. And we can force that with this backslash n. But let us go over the first part. Once again, we need the back ticks, then congratulations, and afterwards the name. So we need the name variable right here. After it, we need an exclamation mark. And now we want to force the line break. You may have seen this backslash n from HTML. So you can force that in the browser display when you use HTML. So we'll add it right here. Backslash n, then class of, and our second parameter, the year. And we should be fine with task 3. Let's head over to the final one. You want to compute the cost of a sign? So let me read it carefully. All right, we have a sign variable. In example, it's happy birthday, Rob, and a currency. In this case, it's dollars. And we want to calculate the price for the sign, and the sign costs $20. And then per letter, $2 additionally, and a white space is also counted as a letter, so it's going to cost $2 as well. So what we have to do is, we'll have to calculate the length of the sign. Let us first add what we can already write as pseudocode. So your sign costs and something, let me just add placeholder. And then comes the currency, which is used as a parameter here. Afterwards, we need a dot, because the sentence ends. So let's not forget that. And we need the decimal. The format is 0 0.00. So I can directly write it like this. Your sign costs that can stay. So we only have to take care of the placeholder now. We need our sign variable. So the parameter that is used in this function. And we can just write dot length to calculate the length of this sign. So it's going to count all of the characters in it, including the white space, times two. And then plus 20, which is the base price, so we'll have to pay that in any case, no matter how many words or characters we've got. And now we should be fine. But you can see right here, the space is important, so we'll have to get rid of that. 
and now we should be good. And this was the custom science exercise on exorcism. A good exercise for beginners, I think. Go over it yourself and refer to my walkthrough if you get stuck. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.